I'm Julie Eyrick, and I'm the City Photo Archivist at the Seattle Municipal Archives. Today I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of our vault, where photo media is stored. Located securely in City Hall, the Archives Vault is 120 feet long by 40 feet wide and has a capacity to store more than 21,000 linear feet of records. To achieve this capacity, we rely on compact movable shelving. The vault is temperature controlled and stays at 66 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 to 45 percent relative humidity. We have 90 photo collections, two of which we consider industrial collections, those being Seattle Engineering Department and Seattle City Light. By that we mean that they are wide in scope and vast in their representation of Seattle's many public works projects going back to the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Both collections are primarily comprised of 4x5 black and white negatives, followed by slides and prints. To give a sense of the volume, we estimate that in the Seattle Engineering Department collection alone, there are 1.5 million objects. More than 40,000 of these objects have been digitized and cataloged and are available for download at archives.seattle.gov. Our scanning operation is ongoing, and negatives that are in the queue for digitization are described at the negative sleeve level and are discoverable online. Engineering department negatives are very well described, as you can see on this original sleeve, data such as full description, date, quantity, photographer's name, and type of film. We have multiple formats of photo media in our collections, and today I am focusing on three types of negatives for this video. Early negatives were made of glass and were both very delicate and very heavy. Once glass became outdated, negatives were made of cellulose nitrate, which over a period of decades becomes unstable and poses hazards such as fire and contamination of nearby material. To deal with that instability, we use cold storage for nitrate negatives and film. Our freezer is kept at or near negative 4 degrees Celsius and 60% relative humidity. Let's have a peek. Cellulose acetate or safety film came into production around the 1920s and those negatives, while subject to vinegar syndrome and degradation, are relatively stable in our temperature controlled vault. My primary goals as the photo archivist is preservation and access to these photo records so that they remain available to you, the public, for as long as possible. Thanks for watching.